So to stay in shape for uh, seven shows a week is basically preparing for the act. There's a warm-up routine that I have that is focused on flexibility and strength that, but to support what I do on stage and then just doing the job basically keeps me in shape for that. Having done the act for now 20 years, I'm still having a really good time. I still get my little bit of adrenaline before I go on stage and because of the nature of the bathtub as well, there's an element to it that is always playful and there's still things happening that haven't happened before, which is amazing to me after I don't know many thousand times of doing it. It's kind of amazing. I can still do it and I can still see people in the front row genuinely laughing and, and having a good time and then that in return makes me uh, makes me have a good time as well. <laughs> That's pretty good. I didn't really think that I, I would ever have the name Bath Boy and I actually was trying to fight it in the first few years but the Bath Act was the one that always stood out and in the end a lot of people in my position, a lot of circus performers are trying to make an act that is a memorable act that is something that stands out. The tube has a character on its own, it's a beast on its own, it's this rich, morphing, constantly evolving piece of plastic that I came to love and hate at the same time. The material changes depending on temperature, depending on humidity. It may get more flexible, it may get more stiff, it may get more aggressive towards my skin. And you have to flow with it. You have to let go of that expectation that you have with what the tube is going to be that night. And it's actually a beautiful thing to discover as an artist or as a human. I have to remind myself, this is what it's about. It's about showing a struggle, it's about being vulnerable, it's about being exposed at the same time, displaying confidence in being vulnerable, in being exposed, and that is a very powerful thing. The traditional way when you do an acrobat, like I was like doing the heart trick, and come down and hey, showing others, look, I did a very dangerous move. But this act we're doing is about story, two people, we depending on each other. So uh, we're trying to give the audience feel like we're loving each other, we have to trust each other and hold tight, never give up. There we go. Like, enjoy this moment for a second. Really nice and then attack this down, make it a little faster. Boom, beautiful. That works. Yeah, so do that, do that again. I love these legs that you're doing before, just because it brings dynamics to the actual combo, because the music's so hype in that moment. So just boom, let's go. And then go, boom, let's go for the next thing. And then you can go for the next thing. I just feel like, the more spin, the more effortless it's gonna look. But this, this moment, mark it a little bit longer. Yeah, because it opens up the whole image before you go into this guy. Yeah. Fernando has an eye of a dancer, and that is super important, especially with circus artists, because we get so wrapped up in our tricks that we don't leave time to breathe and have fun. This is beautiful. This moment here is great. I just don't want it to stop. Keep going. Love, yeah. That leg was natural for you. It looks beautiful. Use the weight of the pole to keep going. Boom. And then you make it stop. Boom. And then stop. Yeah. I think today went really well. Um, we put together an act in an hour, which was, I mean, in record time, honestly. That looks great. That combo looks great. If you love circus, check out more Circus Town videos. And please subscribe so you'll never miss a trick.